I found a 2012 study that actually answers a question like this, which is how many people in certain age brackets have gray hair. And they looked at 522 men, 480 women between the ages of 12 and 91 years old. So that's a relatively large sample size. Obviously it doesn't talk about beards specifically, but I think this is a great study that will give you some insight about when to expect gray hairs. Okay, so they found that people in their 30s, about 50 Two, actually 51.5% of people in their 30s had gray hairs. Then 81.1% of people in their 40s had gray hair and 95.3% of people in their 50s had gray hair. So if you're in your 30s, you've got about a 50% chance of having gray hair. And that is my experience as well, is that when I turned about 30, well, mine are 36 now, so when I was about 35 or something like that, that's when I first started noticing gray hairs here and here. And so I am in the 50% of the people that start having their beard turn gray. And you know, it they fall out and it's not really a gray beard. You can't really see it. It's just every so often you can see them. But have you heard of the 50-50-50 rule? That means that there's a 50% chance of people over 50 having 50% of their hair turn gray. Now, I found a study that tackled that um, kind of common thing. I, I'd never heard it before, to be honest, but I found a specific study that looked at whether or not that's true, and we'll look at that next. This video is based on an article on beardgrowingpro.com, so go check it out there. All of the studies and more, I've put links in that article, so if you really want to get nerdy and have a look at the science yourself, I have linked out to all of the studies at the appropriate point, so go check it out. And also, if this video is useful to you, remember to give it a thumbs up. I had never heard of this rule, but apparently it's very common. That is, that at 50 years of age, 50% of the population has at least 50% of gray hair. There was another 2012 study, 2012, what a great year for beard science and uh, gray studies. But um, essentially they were tackling this exact kind of a uh, common trope that's kind of uh, spoken. And so they looked at 4,192 people, and this is what they found. They found that between the ages of 45 and 65, so you'd expect here, okay, well, if this is true, about 50% of the population will have at least some form of gray hair. They found that 74.2% actually had gray hair. So that's way more than the 50% that would have like some form of gray hair. But the question is, of those 74.2%, how many actually had 50% or more gray hair? And it was only six to 23%. So that's way less than the 50% that this common saying says. And really it comes down to uh, ethnicity, um, where, exactly their age fell and also just essentially the genetics like so the 50 50 50 rule of 50% 50 of the population at 50 years old having 50% gray hair is absolutely debunked so what if you don't want your beard to be gray now I have decided that I'm going to let my grays come through as they come through grow old gracefully, as my mum used to say. Um, but here, yeah, I'm not too concerned about covering them up. Maybe uh, that that kind of will change if they really get obvious and in the front. But, um, you know, I'm bald on top, so having some, some interesting colours and shapes and uh, sort of uh, streaks in my beard will probably be a good thing for me, I think. But uh, if you really want to stop your beard going grey, there are a few things you can do, but look, it really comes down to your genetics, your ethnicity, um, that determines whether or not you are going to uh, have gray hair, gray beard hair. And I think it's that uh, Caucasian people are more likely to have gray beard hairs than Asian or African people. So um, yeah, there's, there's a few things you can do. Don't try to fight genetics too much, but if you find that you just wanna kinda like give it a go, here are some things. The first thing is you need to help your body fight oxidative stress. Now, I'm a scientist, every time I see a product that says, you know, antioxidants and, uh, 
uh, fighting free radicals and all of that sort of stuff. Yeah, you know, there's only so much you can do. Your body is actually incredibly efficient at mopping these up anyway. But if you do want to give yourself a little bit of a boost, sometimes the stuff that you got to eat is just healthy for you anyway. So things like blueberries, strawberries, beetroot, kale, dark chocolate, you're welcome. You can have chocolate to help your beard not go gray so fast, boom, um, and carrots. And also on the uh, article, I've got tons more information about the sorts of things that you can eat to kind of help your body fight the free radicals that are produced, um, you know, just through your natural metabolism, but also UV rays are a big source of that. And essentially your beard turns gray because at the bottom, as it's growing in the root, there are these salinites, anyway, pigment hairs, we'll call them pigment hairs. Uh, they're pigment hairs that, um, that as your beard grows, they kind of just like the, the cells get implanted into the into the hair and that's why it looks gray. There's two types, there's like a browny one and a reddy one, which is why your beard goes orange sometimes. Um, and you know, the relative proportion of those is whether or not you you end up with orange bits and yellow bits and brown bits or black bits. Um, and essentially as they grow and as you get older, those cells die off. And so you no longer have in the root any of these pigment cells that are being pushed into the uh, hair as it's growing and it turns and grows white. Um, and so really you've got to stop the death of those cells, those, um, those pigment cells, as much as you can. Now, the one biggest thing that you can do, and I found a study to support this, is stop smoking. So there was a significant link between smoking, and also it was a 2013 study. So one year after all of the good uh, gray studies, they were like, okay, we need to do something else, a bit different. We're gonna test smoking. So they did smoking and they found that um, there is a significant increase in early onset gray. Now, early onset gray, and they were talking was before the age of 30, because as we saw in the first 2012 study, that about 50% of people have a gray hair or some form of gray hair um, in their 30s. So if before that, obviously it's gonna be much more reduced. And so they were looking at early onset graying, and they found that smokers had a 42% chance of early onset graying, whereas normal people only had 20 24.7%. And they did some really complicated maths and I don't really understand it, but they come out with the fact that um, it was two point, let me find it. They found that you were two and a half times more likely to develop uh, gray hairs if you smoked prematurely. So stop smoking. That is the number one thing you can do to stop your beard growing, going gray earlier than your genetics dictate. And that makes sense because as you're smoking, I assume you're just sort of like killing cells and maybe the pigment cells are one of the first to go. So you may have heard that stress can cause gray hairs. Now I've looked at the science and I found that there is no evidence to that whatsoever. So be as stressed as you like. <laughs> So there we are, there is the scientific answer for what age your beard goes gray. Let me know in the comments if you've got anything to add or your personal experience and I shall see you in the next video.